Rafa. Well, Yossi Meckelberg is a distinguished professor of uh, international relations and an associate fellow at uh, the think tank Chatham House. Yossi, good to see you and welcome back to uh, the program. Uh, first of all, a thought uh, on these warnings of uh, an imminent attack by Iran. I mean, how do you see this playing out in, uh, in the coming hours and days? Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. I think it's, it's all feels a bit uh, on a knife edge. And at this point, is Iran keeping its cards very close to, to, to its chest? Uh, there is expectation of retaliation, but we don't know the exact timing. You don't, we don't know the place, and we don't know the scope. And President Biden already said, you know, we expect it, but don't do that. Israel is on high alert. The expectation was of missiles and, 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 and drones. But what we saw today, the, the, the capture of, of a vessel, which is owned by Israelis, but there is no Israeli crew there. It's not an Israeli uh, vessel itself. It's it's Portuguese flag. It's a question if this is kind of sending a signal by Tehran that they can, they can hurt so-called Israeli targets, but they don't want to escalate. Or is it a deflection from something bigger that might come next? On the other hand, it might be a series of smaller, smaller, uh, by you know, in terms of uh, of, of drones and, and, and missiles or attack of, of missions, diplomatic missions. So this is a kind of wait and see. And Iran, at this point, probably prefers the world to keep its waiting because it shows that it has the power to keep on hold the situation. As you alluded to, um, Joe Biden was questioned about uh, Iran's next move, and Joe Biden said quite simply, don't. Um, does Iran, or come to that, even Israel, listen to the United States or China or, or anyone come to that? Well, some would argue not enough listening to, at least in this case, uh, Israel doesn't listen to, to Washington when it comes to, to Gaza and stopping uh, the, the, the fighting in, in Gaza and allow more humanitarian aid. And if it does listen gradually and grudgingly, it takes way too, too, uh, too long. Uh, the United States made sure that everyone knows that it had no prior knowledge about the attack in Damascus, which killed uh, some, uh, a number of, of Iranian uh, well, two generals and other military personnel, but at the same time, it knows that allowing Iran or not deterring Iran from responding might lead to a cascade war, will lead to an escalation that it's very difficult to know how it's going to end. So the message is very clear, not only the United States, European countries who don't go beyond that. But there are also pressures within Iran to, re to retaliate, because this kind of uh, small war, war between the wars that Israel call it, between, uh, between Israel and Iran goes on for years. At a certain point, the question is the pressure within Iran, from the revolutionary regard, is should or shouldn't Iran retaliate and retaliate with force. Yossi, good to talk to you. I'm sure we'll talk again in coming days. Yossi Meckelberg, Professor of International Thanks. Relations uh, and an Associate Fellow at the Think Tank Chatham House.